Welcome to the Module 7 Recap. In Module 7, the name of the game was Conservation of Energy. It was a pretty comprehensive module, if you think about it, because in addition to looking at the laws, I also introduced a very important equation in fluid dynamics called the Bernoulli's equation. Okay. But first, what I did was I started from the fundamentals of looking at what is the energy of a system. And we showed that it is composed of three separate components. The first one was the kinetic energy, potential energy, internal, or sometimes it's called molecular energy. We summed them up, and then, then we looked at the energy transfer going from state one, from dynamic state one, to from dynamic state two. And then what we did was, we pretty much obtained the axle of the first law of thermal. Then we differentiated this over time, and then went through some process, looking at the heat transfer, work, etc. And we obtained ourselves the energy equation that I'm putting up there. Okay. And then what we did was we looked at special cases, very similar to module 5, module 6. And the first one, again, identical to module 5 and 6, steady. And guess what happened? First one dropped out, nothing unusual so far. And then what I looked at is a kind of a special case where I looked at one inlet, one outlet, uniform flow, and steady. I make some replacement and I obtain myself a loss equation. Okay. Um, again, I remind you that, that this is only for one inlet, one outlet. This was easier for me to derive for you. And the loss was energy loss per unit mass, so it's joule per kilogram in terms of the units. And then I showed you how to approach uh, more general cases where I'm going to have, let's say, multiple nets, multiple exits, and I showed you that you need to multiply each of these terms, the energy terms that you see up there, by m dot, and I get myself, this time around, a power loss, and obviously the unit is what? And after that, I solved a fairly comprehensive question looking at what should be the direction of a flow, different angles that I have in my pipe, etc. So you may want to watch that. And then I switched gears. I looked at, okay, what happens if my loss is zero? In addition to that, I showed you some other uh, assumptions that needs to be satisfied, such as my control volume is now right around the streamline. And in module four, we explain what a streamline is. And also we have that steady, inviscid, no loss, no work. Um, and again, this is written on a streamline for on its two points. And I showed you that when I write it up there, v squared over 2 plus gz plus p over rho turns out to be a constant value on one particular streamline. When I go from one streamline to another streamline, obviously that value of constant, which is a c, will change. And I also show you that I can divide both sides by g and obtain pressure head, velocity head, elevation head. Again, summation of those is equal to constant. Again, I have it over here as well. And then I did some examples from this module. Basically, what I looked at was I had to use the Bernoulli's equation multiple times. Sometimes students think that I'm limited to using the Bernoulli's equation once. That's right, that's not really the case. So you can use multiple times and I show the example for you. And in addition to that, with more than one net one outlet case, I showed you how to, how to calculate power loss in your system as well. 